Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I style my hair. Um, now these are going to be the off days when I don't wash it. So your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth day hair. Um, it's very easy. I literally only use one product, a little bit of water, and that's that. So first things first, um, I think how you sleep on your hair at night is very important. And this is how I sleep on my hair because it's not too tight so it's not going to crease or anything. Um, but it's out of my face, like, it's not gonna make me sweaty, it's not gonna, like, get all over. So, that's how I sleep in it. That way, when you wake up, you can literally just take it out, and there won't be a big kink in it from the hair tie being too tight. When I first get up in the morning, I'll take it out, and then you can see, like, okay. I'll flip it to my part, which is about there, and I, like, have this little, like, thing. Um, and as you can see, it's very, like, flat right here. It's poofy on the sides. I kind of look like a dog right now with like ears. Um, so what I'll do is I'll grab this water bottle and you can like put your hand in the sink and put water on your hair. You can like dip your head like in the shower. Sometimes I do that or you can literally just take a water bottle and we're going to spray our hair. Now you don't need your hair to be like soaking wet. Um, I would probably say get it like maybe 40 like 30 to 40 percent wet I do most of the top because the top is what you're gonna see I don't really care about the bottom so literally just like spraying it all over running your hands really getting the roots because that's what we want to reshape because they're so flat and then I'll flip my head I don't know if you guys can see me right now but I flip my head and I did the very bottom and this is we're still using just water keep in mind no product or anything. I kind of flip it. Now I part very heavily on the side. So just put it to wherever you part. So now the hair is pretty much wet enough. So now we're going to shape our part. And I think I, last time I washed my hair was like three or four days ago. So, ooh, it's cold in my ear. Oh my god. Okay. So now. I like to kind of shake out the roots because we do not want them flat. If you do want them flat, then don't shake them, but I don't like my roots being flat. The ring part, that's pretty much where my part is. We're going to try on wedding dresses today so I can't look crazy. So now the hair is pretty wet. I don't need any more water. You can see like now I'm weighed down. So now I'm going to take any cream. I like to use the Aveda Smooth Infusion Nourishing Styling Cream just because this um, it's going to nourish the hair a little bit and it's going to control my frizz because that's the main problem I have when I'm doing like second, third, whatever day hair is my hair gets frizzy and my curls kind of get like less defined. So this kind of brings them back to life. Um, I did take my ring off because I hate putting products on when I have stuff on my fingers. So and I only like to take a little bit, so I'll take like a pea-sized amount, rub it between your fingers, and literally just like put it through your hair. Like I don't try to get complicated with my stuff. And I do put it on my roots because this, I get so fuzzy like right here. So if you don't get fuzzy and you get more greasy, then keep the product away from your roots. And then while I'm working it through, I don't even know what this is called, I call it zhuzhing. I like to like zhuzh up my roots a little bit, so again, they're not flat, so I'll like work it in. So now my product's in, now I just have to dry. Now I like to air dry my hair, um, just cause I, I don't know, I feel like when I use the diffuser and the blow dryer, it gets a little too, um, frizzy, but if you're in a hurry, and sometimes I do this if I am in a hurry, I will do the blow dryer. Now. This is my blow dryer. It is, um, everything's rubbed off. I think it's an FHI. This works really nicely. Pretty much any professional blow dryer will work. Um, but you do not want to use it like this. You definitely want to put this diffuser on. Now this usually comes with every blow dryer that you buy. You literally just snap it on and then it controls, um, the airflow. Instead of just, if you use it like this, it's literally just shooting it in one spot and it's going to make your hair go like this. Versus the diffuser, it evenly disperses the flow. So that way you're not going to get too frizzy. So, like I said, sometimes I use a diffuser if I'm, like, really in a hurry. But 
Usually I don't. Now I'm just gonna step away. I'll let this dry probably for like, cause I am gonna air dry today. Probably for like a half hour to an hour and then I'll be back to show you guys the final result. So this is my hair all the way dried. I just shellacked my nails really quick. Um, but as you can see, it's definitely like more fluffy. My curls are defined. It's not crunchy. It's not flat anymore. Um, and yeah, so easy. Literally all you need is some water. You can use this in a spray bottle or you can dip your head a little bit in the shower or you can literally just take the water straight from the sink and like dab it onto your hair and then just some styling cream just to smooth everything out. Um, so yeah, pretty simple. And it definitely looks like, it literally looks like I like just washed my hair, but I actually didn't. So, fooled ya. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment them down below. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.